Everyone, so good to see you. Welcome to Crumpty News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti and happy Friday and happy Friday before St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. Always a lot to look forward to, Nicole. Oh, so uh, excited. Everybody wants to know what the parade's going to be like. Can they eat their corned beef outside? Which, <laughs> what's happening? Definitely eat your corned beef outside this weekend. <laughs> Absolutely. I think we had um, like a trivia question in the morning show and the answer was corned beef and cabbage at some point this morning. I think it had to do with like traditional Irish food on this day or something like that. I don't fully remember, but that was the answer. Of course it does. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, anyways, I will talk about the weather. Look at the top of your screen. That is blue skies. That is sunshine. It is so clear. It is beautiful. It's that way here in Spokane. It's that way across the entire region. And that sun is already warming us up so quickly. We were in the low 30s this morning. Now we're at 48 degrees here in Spokane across the region. Some of us already in the 50s and look at all that sunshine for literally everybody. That's because there's literally nothing going on on our radar and nothing at all going to go on on our future tracker either. It stays clear through your weekend into your next work week and believe it or not we even get warmer. So I'll talk about how much warmer we get and how long it sticks around as we go forward with the rest of the show. A little bit of energy and excitement there. WSU men are headed to the semifinal round of the Pac-12 tournament after last night's big win against Stanford. However, they hit a small bump, as you know, after their win at Arizona, after their play at Arizona. But a week off helped them get back on their feet for last night's game. Um, we're an unselfish group. We love to see the next person win. Uh, so I think that kind of went out and displayed tonight. Uh, we had 18 assists. It's been a, it's been a long time since since we've been in that category, but. If we just keep doing that, you know, the sky's the limit for us. The Cougs advance to the semifinals where they're looking to do something the program's never done and win a pair of games at the Pac-12 tournament. Of course, Crem2 will continue to bring you all the Pac-12 tournament coverage from Vegas. So be sure to tune in to Crem2 News to catch the very latest again live with our team in Las Vegas. All right. Next week, Spokane will become, well, will welcome rather eight teams as part of the NCAA tournament. But before the games tip off at Spokane Arena, a whole lot of work goes into making sure that the event is a big success. Much of that work is done by the University of Idaho and a team of about 100 volunteers. As the host school, U of I is responsible for making sure that everything is ready to go. That's from the court and baskets to hotels, practice schedules, and a whole lot more. And so behind the scenes, we're going to be cleaning rock, locker rooms, stacking product, doing whatever, and just anything the facility needs. That's what the University of Idaho and our staff will do to help ensure that everybody has a great championship experience. The University of Idaho, by the way, has plenty of experience with the NCAA tournament hosting the men's event in 2016. And they were preparing actually to host again in 2020 before it was canceled. The school also hosted the women's tournament in 2022 and will do so again coming up next year. So Krem2 is committed to tracking our local teams during March Madness. On Selection Sunday, we're going to find out where our teams are headed and who they're going to play in the first round of the NCAA tournament. CBS Sports Selection Show starts this Sunday at 3 p.m. right here on Creme 2. And right after that coverage, we're going to bring you a special edition of Creme 2 News at 4 o'clock with team coverage of all the reaction from Gonzaga, Washington State, and Eastern. All right, we're on a roll now with sports. So let's talk more about it. The Spokane Velocity, they will have their first ever home game this weekend at 1 Spokane. Brandon T. Jones began his day with the team ahead of the big game. Oh, Tons of fans. I mean, the energy in this stadium tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane. And you know who can talk on that a little bit is Phil Harrison, the VP of Velocity. Phil, thank you so much for speaking with us. Can you talk about just, I mean, the energy that's going to be in here tomorrow? It's going to be incredible. Yeah. We all cannot wait. Spokane yeah. has consistently showed up every step of the way. And now we're finally here. We're finally to the yeah. home game. We're ready to host the community every step of the way. Like I said, it showed up from the start. We've re revealed the team name yeah. to the first game on the road. Everything, the game's going to be sold 
sold out tomorrow. It's going to be an exciting time. Man, I, this this stadium pact is going to be something else. I mean, that's going to be historical. But you grew up here. You were born and raised here in Spokane. Can you talk about just how cool it is to see something like this in your hometown? It's so cool. Uh, you know, as a kid, I've played so many sports. I love the idea of competition and team. I build that in so many facets of what I do. And to now be a part of something to bring professional sports, a professional team, to be on the ground floor. Uh, it's humbling, it's incredible, and, and, and I couldn't be mm -hmm. more excited for tomorrow. Absolutely. We've talked about those fans a little bit. Uh, there's also some plans before the game to kind of be unified, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the community showed up. We had a supporters group that started and formed the moment we heard, learned that we were getting a professional team, the 509 Syndicate. They are going to have a march to the match that begins at 1 o'clock downtown at Riverfront Park. Mm -hmm. Right there at the fountain, they're marching through the park wow. all the way to the front gates of the stadium. That's they're awesome. going to have drums, flags, all of that. Yeah, I mean, and what's your favorite part about all of this and seeing it come to fruition? <sighs> My favorite part of all of this, um, I, I, I think it's, it's it, it, no, it, it's a great question. It's the community and it's the players. Uh, the players, from the moment they've got here, they've been embraced. They mm -hmm. sacrifice so much to, to come yeah. here, to be here. This is their livelihood. They're bringing yeah. their families, their their homes. They're leaving where they're from to come and, and to be here. And then to see the community show up every step of the way. I know they're going to show up tomorrow and they're going to continue to show up for these players. Uh, it's really special. And that's probably my favorite part. That's right. And I mean, I, this is this is the city's team, right? You know, mm -hmm. can you talk on that a little bit as well? Yeah, this is the city's team. Spokane is a sports town. Yeah. I mean, from, from Hoop fest to all of the colleges here to mm. the chiefs the indians all of those pieces and we are another piece yeah. uh, that i know that spokane is going to show up for in in great great support absolutely well phil we appreciate yeah, you absolutely. my friend and i mean i'm so excited you've got me sold I'm a, I'm a fan of this team now as well and i hope all of you out there get to experience the energy that's going to be here at one spokane so phil thank you again and uh, we'll toss it back to you all in the studio all right my friend thank you Go Velocity. We want, also want to let you know that Krem2 is partnering with the team. Krem2 and KSKN22 will televise six matches throughout the season. One will be right here on Krem2. That's on May 11th. The other matches will be on KSKN22. And for a full list of games, you can go to Krem.com. We'll keep you updated on all the action.